What's going on guys? I'm Alexandra Don and today we're gonna talk about on how I shot a music festival using the Sony FX6 and these lenses. So you might be wondering why did I choose to use two completely different lenses for this festival? Well, they are not so different after all and here's why. This is an Helios 44 2mm lens rehoused by Iron Glass into this beautiful cinematic style lens body. And it has an adaptation, it has an anamorphic bulk adaptation and when you film with this lens it looks like you're shooting anamorphic but without the squeeze. Well this one is an actual anamorphic lens, it's a Siri 35mm lens and it has a squeeze of 1.33x and it's great, it looks good but it doesn't pair so good with the FX6 because this lens is built for Super 35 millimeter lens cameras. So um, it's a bit of a downside because you kind of have to zoom in into the image to get rid of the vignetting and therefore when you zoom in you kind of get yourself into a 16 by 9 image pretty much the same as you get with this one. So I thought it's a nice pair to have them side by side and film with them and now we're gonna take a look a little bit at some footage and tell you more on how I shot using this camera and what were my settings because I got into some pretty interesting situations that it might help you. Alright guys, so hopefully you enjoyed the footage that came out of the FX6 paired with these lenses. To be honest, we shot way, way, way more, but uh, because most of the footage went to our editors from the festival, I only managed to save a bunch of the footage that uh, I saved only because I shot a few shots with my girlfriend. So. Uh, that's the reason I still have this footage because I wanted to have some memories from the festival but overall it was a really interesting experience most of the shots that you see uh, are from just one day and it was the first day of festival it wasn't so many people because um, you know it's still a pandemic uh, people are, are still scared a little bit of this virus thing and all that but uh, as the days of the festival went by, uh, way more people came, it was way fun, way more action and we got a ton of amazing footage, which I am really sad I don't have, but uh, in the meantime I'm also happy that I still have a little bit of footage so I can show you guys how good this Sony FX6 paired with some crazy lenses does. Um, to be honest, the FX6 is one of the fastest cameras you can work with nowadays. It boots up in under two seconds, you have variable NDs, you have all the controls uh, on the right side of the camera, you don't have to go into menus to change things, it is so fast to work with. The battery life is amazing, 
I can run the whole day with just one battery. I was, you know, when you film a festival, you kind of want to be like super easy. You don't want to carry a backpack. You don't want to carry things. So I only had a fanny pack with one lens and that's it. One battery was holding me one day of shooting. And uh, because the camera boots up so fast, between shots, I was uh, switching off my camera and whenever I was seeing something interesting, bam, I was powering on and in under two seconds, I was able to get the shot. So that's how I was able to maintain a really good battery life of the camera and also be very efficient on myself so I don't have to carry a lot of gear with me. So I don't have to be like really tired at the end of the day and make myself be creative because I don't have a, a strain on myself and I don't have something that makes me not want to shoot. So because the camera is also very lightweight, it is it is such a dream to film with this camera. But one of the things that was kind of weird was because the Sony FXX has a dual native ISO, you kind of uh, the distance between the dual native ISO it is kind of big so you have ISO 800 and ISO 12800 which is kind of a far away and when you shoot at night with 12800 if it's pitch black it's okay because you have a lot of light but when you're shooting on uh, stages or when you're shooting where there is a little bit of light but not enough for the first base ISO 800 you kind of find in a situation where you're kind of overexposing at night, which is kind of crazy. So what I did, I was going to ISO 12800 all the time at night and I was playing with the variable ND in order to get the best exposure um, from the camera. But this is kind of weird. You're, you're filming with an ND at night. Uh, this is uh, a little bit something new, but as soon as you learn the workflow with this camera, it starts to be really smart to use it and you get amazing images. I keep on thinking at filmmaking in a way that I want to make things fast but really good because we live in an era where content needs to be done yesterday so you kind of have to be like really fast whenever you film something you have to be really fast even with high-end commercial you still have to deliver fast so if you're fast and if your workflow is fast, you kind of have the possibility to make a little bit more money. So as soon as you finish a project, you can take another one, take another one, and the faster you are, the more projects you can take and the more money you can make. So, <laughs> so regarding grading, I used my own LUTs to grade the footage. And as you can see, the LUTs look amazing. And it's really nice that I made them in a way that you just click them and they work perfectly. Even now I'm using my own LUTs and as you can see, it looks really good and I don't have to struggle grading. The only thing I might need to add is a little bit of highlights or shadows or drop the highlights down or increase the shadows, which are normal things to do. But regarding color, I think I, I kind of nailed it with these LUTs and I, I, I use them all the time. So uh, I would be, really curious to see what you guys do with them if you purchase them thank you so much but yeah if you do just hit me up in the dms or anything like that and i'll be very happy to see what you've done and share your work and be thankful for supporting me here so i uh, hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to this youtube channel because i have some amazing content coming up really really good behind the scenes from some really epic commercials so until next time make sure to hang around here follow me on instagram also and uh, go out create some epic content and have fun cheers mm -hmm.